welcome everybody to uh, the Freddie and Connection. We're live here from uh, GAC 2024. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> here today with Doug from NCR Boyx. Welcome. Thank you so much, Sarah. I could go ahead and let you introduce yourself. Tell me a little bit about what you all are doing. Sure. So uh, I'm Doug Brown, president of digital banking at NCR Boyx, and we run uh, digital platforms for uh, hundreds of credit unions across uh, the U.S. today. Mm -hmm. And so you guys have your, your fingers on the pulse of everything, I'm sure. <laughs> so what are, what are some of the trends that you're seeing? Obviously, it's a hot topic. Yeah, uh, this year has been great. Like a lot of energy at the session, so that's been exciting. Uh, there's a, uh, I'll call it a maniacal focus on the member and the member experience. And uh, what's different, I think, this time than other years has been member experience in a more holistic fashion. What we call it digital first at Voyix. And what that's about is that we want to have great digital uh, when people are on the glass in an app or on a, on a laptop, but then also when they're interacting with your service members mm -hmm. and digitizing that ex series of exchange and so forth. And so that's really been a noticeably more uh, uh, palatable topic this year. Mm -hmm. And we're pretty keen on that because we really think that's the way to elevate how much value you can offer to members and in essence derive back from members. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and um, you know, anything that can help Cranians transfer that, that wonderful in branch experience, the member experience to, you know, the, the digital world is a good thing. Right. It's and difficult. And vice versa, bringing the convenience, right, right. and the uh, uh, capabilities uh, both ways. And mm -hmm. so that's where we see some of the leaders, I'll say, uh, industry-wide, really moving out in front. Mm -hmm. And that's how, uh, really, they can establish a higher level of trust and engagement mm -hmm. than any other alternative out there, be it a credit union or community bank or even a fintech. Mm -hmm. And so, how are you connecting with them? Like, how does that work? Yeah, so uh, for us, it's about uh, really having a, a deep data integration and real-time data so that you can inform the experience to the member's expectations and their desire, uh, and then uh, making it very relevant, of course, and personal. Mm -hmm. And that's the one thing that credit unions are masters of uh, versus their uh, competitors. And so uh, it's really about uh, bringing that experience to the point of member. Mm -hmm. And as we talk about it in a digital first, it means digital everywhere. So that means it's going to be great when I'm using the app. It's going to be great when I go into the branch. Mm -hmm. It's going to be great when I contact the contact center. And the reason is because the data is persistent across all those instances and it informs who's ever servicing the member mm -hmm. uh, is what it's about. And that's always been one of the issues is, oh, this data is in here. This is in this spot. Yeah. All these data silos. No, it's, um, it's you, you've got connected. to see the member holistically. And if you don't, you're going to fail. And so right. there's a recognition of that. Mm -hmm. So that's been really exciting. We have a tight partnership with Google mm -hmm. uh, and how we run our infrastructure instance as well as our data to offer back to the credit unions. So that's been very successful in helping to really execute on this uh, long, uh, long tail strategy of mm -hmm. member engagement with data informed decisioning and mm -hmm. experience. And personalizing the service, right? Yes. You, once you have that data back there, you can use it to analyze and pick next best or pick like what they're most likely to do next. Say my car loan is three, four years old. Might be time for another car loan. You know, those and, and, and they're desperate for advice and coaching. They had to improve their financial wellness. Yeah. So it's not just about the product offering. It's also just like understanding them and making it um, uh, topical and helpful for them. Mm -hmm. Could be credit score counseling. There's a variety of things, financial literacy. So I think there's a number of themes, but knowing which members need which is really yeah. the essence of it because nothing's more annoying than getting hit with the same message that doesn't apply to you. <laughs> exactly. That's yes. a you know, big turn off, right? Yeah. And so, so recognition of that, and then also being able to, like I was really interested when I saw on the app the other day, but then they go into the branch, the branch needs awareness of what it was that they were interested in. So bringing that you know, experience forward and then helping uh, service them, engage them, that you were aware of what they were interested in and why, and then you mm -hmm. can really take it to the next level. And it's really strong, um, uh, a strong way of delivering on a brand, uh, mm -hmm. that consistency the um, helpfulness, you know, as far as like the, the financial wellness piece you were yeah. mentioning. And it, so it's not just about the money. It's not just yeah. about, you know, getting <laughs> you to take that loan and take your money. It, it's Precisely. And, yeah. and mm -hmm. I think I've noticed too that uh, the uh, people's uh, sentiment attitude is also like trending negative, I'll call it, about their financial outlook. Uh, it's not getting better. It seems to be getting more stressful. Right. So as a result of that, I think that's where credit union industry at large can really help with empathy and understanding it. And that really starts with providing them more things that where they engage more frequently and that you can have the opportunity to um, uh, hear from them, learn from them, and show them that you do care and you do understand better. Uh, one interesting trend that happened here was people have had incredible efficiency success with the deployment of interactive tellers in the drive-up lanes. Mm -hmm. 
And at some level that's great because it helped us through COVID with a servicing sure. surge and the like. However, there's also a, a need to say, like, well, hey, you know what? I don't want to just have them drive up and drive away without any chance to engage and help them. Right. And so there's even some people now pursuing, like, I'd really like to encourage you to come in and talk to us. Mm -hmm. We'll make the service side very efficient, but if I can engage with you a bit more. So you're looking for those opportunities, right, to open up advisory and consulting, I think right. is really a, really a good one. I think that's going to help credit union stand out. Mm -hmm. it's a, and it's a culture shift, too. To, you know, this whole oh. new thing coming in, and so the entire <laughs> team needs to be on well. board with you consistently using it and that kind of thing. Yeah, they have to be uh, the cross sell or you know, um, or, or a holistic understanding of the member mm -hmm. uh, and understanding all that. Yeah, and uh, and you're exactly right that staff has to be you know, uh, embracing the tools, understanding it, and looking at these things like. AI is a threat, AI is an enabler in many instances as we look to you know, leverage use cases there uh, to help make the service member job better and in mm -hmm. so doing they're going to reach the members better. Right, because if that AI is taking care of things in the background that uh -huh. it can and then the human is saved for the human piece of it, yeah. that empathy part you mentioned. And, <laughs> and another uh, trend here at the show, you know, we're seeing the, the excitement over uh, uh, AI and Gen AI and the like and so uh, one thing we've seen with some of our early deployers of that type of technology is when it's offered to, for example, in the contact center, like this is your best teammate you're ever going to have. This is the teammate who works the off hours, mm -hmm. who can take surge activity, and also a teammate who can help coach you and offer you how to service a member with new topics that you might not even be familiar or comfortable with yet. Mm -hmm. You know, topics like crypto coming back into vogue, and that's something like not a lot of service members necessarily know about, sure. but uh, an AI assist um, type of agent can help inform and explain to us contact center how to share inform and what to say on the topic to other members oh that's cool and yeah, yeah so it kind of helps you, you members just uh, sort of service members having uh, more flexibility and range and doing it accurately and consistently right right and, and, and it's spitting out too like for example if you're on the phone with somebody and maybe a keyword comes mm -hmm. up in the conversation i mean does it does it track that kind of stuff it, like it, it does and it's reacting more than just the keywords it's also taking in full context it's also uh, in some instances, noticing like tone, are you saying it in a positive or negative manner? <laughs> like, yeah. I just got burned on crypto. It, yeah. It'll know that the question wasn't like, please go recommend the next crypto ETF to this member. Explain to them responsible budgeting investment strategy, you know, right. is what, what it goes about doing. So Yeah, and that's another thing, you know, like I would say I know nothing about investment strategy, you know, <laughs> so like it's, if I were asking well, and the member service person may not as well. And but it, it provides an opportunity to educate as well as potentially, um, you know, deepen the member relationship. That's right. And then uh, and topics, too, that maybe are, are seasonal, like tax. Sure. So tax is not something, if you don't do it all the time, you probably aren't, you know, fully current. And with tax uh, codes and laws changing, too. Mm -hmm. So it's one that can help enable somebody, uh, if you're on the front desk, to help mm -hmm. address and understand what to direct people to do. Yeah. So, again, looking at it as a teammate, not as a replacement. It's coming from my job. Like, no, it wants to make your job better. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's funny because you mentioned like it doesn't matter how many times the the uh, economists in DC tell us we're not in a recession <laughs> or whatever. It doesn't matter because people are feeling like their money is it's pinched, and uh, so yeah, I think it's great timing for for the financial wellness piece. Like, what it, what all does that encapsulate uh, mm -hmm. for for the credits and the members? Yeah, uh, I, you know, wellness is about detecting what the needs are of different individuals, of course, and. Uh, and offering different mechanisms to uh, provide either content or structured program, if you will, to help them that they care about. Mm -hmm. So with financial literacy, I mentioned earlier. Mm -hmm. So that's one that, okay, we can create endless numbers of textbook type things on the topic, right. but they're not going to read it. That's not going to mean <laughs> it. So you have to like convert it into a video format, mm -hmm. whether it can be tiktok sized or something to that effect. Mm -hmm. That's going to reach millennials and Gen Z, right, in a much more meaningful yes. way. And then also having, you know, uh, partner spokespeople who um, you know, make the, uh, the target audience look uh, attracted to and, and will listen more mm -hmm. attuned to it. Um, kind of like I'm a parent of uh, uh, zillennial daughters and I'm usually the one they, the last one they come to to topics because <laughs> they're friends, everyone else knows more than mom and dad. Yes, yes. And so find the right spokesperson with message delivery and forming and things that, that, that resonate with them. Yeah. And then span the spectrum that you know some people uh, need more basics, things like basic literacy of how to manage, how to budget, how to finance, what the term cash flow means. Right. Uh, some people might have more uh, uh, upper end exotic needs, which we were talking about, like investment strategy, wealth, and tax. Mm -hmm. And so um, 
you want to just you know build yourself in a flexible model that you can uh, respond to the, the audience that you're after. Mm -hmm. And so we think uh, our digital first model is a great way to do that because we see over and over that uh, people keep reporting the, the death of the branch and that is the furthest thing from the truth as we see it. We see the purpose and role of the branch changing quite a bit, sure. right, and how it delivers in the service mix, but we don't believe that it, the name of the game is to shut it down and um, yeah. uh, ignore that side of relationship. That's really important. Yeah, I mean, I almost never walk into the branch <laughs> at my credit union, but um, yeah, we had a problem with our debit card the other day, and so, yeah, having that branch there was mm -hmm. nice, even though I avoided <laughs> at all other costs, <laughs> but yeah. Yeah, that's right. Uh, so, so that's a good example of like the role of the branch changing. Like they're there to help you with a major issue, right? That was sure. impactful to you. Uh, I call that a moment of truth. Mm -hmm. And they were there to able to fulfill and satisfy you. You know, depositing a check, I trust you could do that on your mobile phone, like 99% <laughs> of the rest of the population. Yeah. So that's not as important to you. Right. So recognizing that, and then what have you trained your service members to do, how to engage. Mm -hmm. And as you said, it's not always easy to have that, hey, I'm gonna, I would like to have a conversation about your financial needs, you know, mm -hmm. people, um, it's not something they naturally gravitate to as conversation path. <laughs> so what's the technique you need to use to um, make them feel comfortable, you feel comfortable, uh, but they're coming to you, they come to the credit unions for a reason. And I think yeah. uh, I like to describe that as trust is making a comeback right now as more mm -hmm. things make people more anxious. Uh, and I think credit union industry right now, that's what we're seeing here at this show, mm -hmm. is just really poised to, to capture that moment. And um, that's what's got me excited, and I think the rest mm -hmm. of the audience that's here with us, Sarah, yeah, is no, I mean, excited about. Yeah, no, I mean, there wasn't much good about COVID, <laughs> but one of the good things I think that came out of it was this, okay, yeah, we need to do this transformation now. Yes, <laughs> As yes. opposed to, yeah, I'll think about it or I'll tweak here and there. It's like a more strategic approach to the digital transformation. It is, and it's funny, you're asking about the industry show here that we're all taking part yeah, of and yeah. the energy, and it's great. It's funny when you talk back to COVID, COVID was, this was the last show I attended before yes, COVID lockdown started, yeah. <laughs> and it was the first one upon return when we all lifted and came mm -hmm, back. So mm -hmm. uh, I think uh, the, the, the GAC event really uh, has a special place for yeah, us. Come, come full circle here. Exactly. Well, thank you very much. I'm going to give you the last word. What are your final thoughts for, for credit unions, for everybody uh, listening? Uh, I think now is our time. The, uh, as I mentioned, trust making a comeback. This is the time that members need us collectively more than ever. So let's put our best foot forward. Let's address what they really need, both the tactical as well as that things around uh, empathy, uh, sentiment, and the like. And I think we will all win together as a, right. as a result of that. Yeah, and maybe ironically, technology and data can help do that. <laughs> well, I think so. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank Appreciate you. It. <laughs>